For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code POODLE at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back and we're back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And if you guys couldn't tell already, Poodle got groomed. Got my first haircut in about maybe seven, six months. My last haircut was like September, October-ish. It's been quite a while. Feels good. Finally have a haircut again. It's throwing me off though. My head's really cold. It's winter over here, so gotta get used to it, but... Looks a lot better. Gonna look good for the cover photo that I'm gonna be doing for uh, my channel art at some point, but enough of that. Also, yeah, I wanna I wanna just thank you guys real quick for support because yesterday I think we gained about 12 subs in the matter of a few hours. Like, I don't know if me asking the video was just the difference yesterday, but I appreciate all the support we've been getting and yesterday especially. Thank you so much. And um, if you guys could right now also drop a sub. It means a lot to me. It won't, it won't take much from you guys. And if we could grow at that rate that we grew at yesterday on a daily basis, we'll be at 1,000 subs in no time. Like it'll, be, it'll be like two months if we can grow at that rate. And um, that's about it for that. So if you guys could drop that, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And into the video. So as far as the market goes. So from what I yesterday, I was looking through it. You know, I got the Cologne Mac, obviously. So let me go show you the team MVP prices just to show you how they've been holding up. They're currently at, so 520 for these. So these are still remaining at base. Nothing's changed here. A little cheap for Julio Jones. I know this is a fan favorite kind of card. His stats don't really match up to his actual play, but it is what it is. Deshaun Watson went down. And then Khalil Mack is currently at, where is he? At 657. All right, so he's went down. If I did his collection, it cost me about 600K, so it was well worth it for me. I did collection, I had elites, I had gold, so it was very simple for me to do. So, team MVPs are not the recommended sniping for me. Like, this is not the recommended area to be sitting in. They're staying at around base. If you really want a good deal and good sniping, you got to stay with the Ultimate Legends. Let me show you what they're at now and how worth it they are. So, the Ultimate Legends are currently at, let's see, for the high ballers. That's where I'm going to start real quick. 310. All right, so they're go they're they're going back up, as you can see. So, I'd recommend. I really want that Mike Allstott. I'd recommend buying like a Mike Allstott right now for 310. Buy him while he's still cheap. I mean, they also might be going up because there's nothing in packs right now specifically. Maybe no, you know what? I would buy for 300, but anything above that I might wait because when the new packs drop and there's new players, they'll probably drop down to like maybe even 280, 290 this time. So, I'd wait on that. But if you can get one for 300 to 90, I'd pick it up right away and even take it for training. Now, if we go down lower, we look at the prices. We got the 94s and 95s. Um, they're staying steady again around 100K. This is actually a pretty good price for this Everson Wells. Yeah, it was a really good price. Damn it, I missed it. I should have bought that. But if you can get a price like I just saw, buy that. 100 is a good, really good price for him. I did not know he looked like that. All right, so my hair looks like when I like stretch it out really far. Okay, so we can get these for 105. Pull the trigger on that. These are so cheap. This is crazy. Or the 95s. Did I see one already? Did I miss it? 220 for Sean Taylor. The 95s are actually kind of up right now. I sold my Calvin for like 202 that I pulled on stream that day. There's never one there. I don't know why I always click that every single time. All right, 90s are 30. 90s being 30K is actually so crazy because like a few months ago, 88 overall, like not even a month or two ago, 88 overalls were like 80K. 38K. And what, what's that training? Like a thousand? Three. So yeah, that's crazy. I mean, obviously not the best training option, but if you don't have a lot of coins, this isn't bad for people. People with lower teams, you could do a lot with 38k right now. You quick sell that, you could power up your Vic, you could power up, you could like, not a full Vic, but you could power it up pretty far for like a new team. For 38k, you have a nice Vic, like that's not bad at all. And I'd recommend getting these at around 30k. Now we go to the 88s, 89s. Again, I'd probably recommend the 90s over these, unless you can get these for like 16k. And then let's see the final, final, final ones. I'm wait. It does it go lower than that? It goes to 87, right? Yeah. It just doesn't go with Sean Taylor. All right. So let's see. Randall McDaniel. Oh, these are the out of position. Okay. So let's see fullback. 
Red McDaniel, Mike all stuff. You can get these for about nine to eight K. Good deal. Bargain, pick it up. That's about it for the Ultimate Legends. Let's go to the team builders real quick. He's all the way down here, right? Yep. Alright, so these 86s, um, stick with the Ultimate Legends. I'm telling you, there's not much of a if you want scouts, I understand going with team builders, but from a standpoint of coins, profit, and training standpoint of coins and training. Ultimate Legends is still the move by far. But if you're looking for scouts, you're trying to get a good scout price, I'm going to show you those. So right here, so we got the left ends and right tackles are the top ones here. So we'll go to left end. You To the 88, you want to get... Wait, the 88's are only 30K now? No, that sounds about right. The 88, you want to get for about 25K. About 25K. And then the 89, you want to get for... Where are they at right now? I have to buy a few of these actually to get my... Um, packs i was doing the other day oh damn okay so 37 okay this actually is a good price um it's not that bad oh there's another one paid in barber okay so you want to get 89s for about 32k and then let's show you the 90s going right back up the chain all right i'm still i'm not, I'm not feeling this whole team builder thing just yet i love the clo mac don't get me wrong um, but that's about it 92s you want to get these 92s for about 105 i feel like 120 is too overpriced for these 92s 100 105 and this isn't like and this is the reverse of the christmas promo where or like the the team of the year and stuff we're like oh, what was the last currency that we had blitz no the blitz for uh damn super bowl rings this is the reverse how you know the super bowl rings and 94s were like priced here below the actual 94s and i said to you like hold on to your 94s when the training adjusts the players will rise this is the reverse these players are overpriced so like you want to get rid of them during this promo right now because for right now, at the price they're at, you want to sell, and then if there's a blitz, they'll go down, and then you buy. But right now, when these adjust to training, a typical 92 is not 120k. It's 90. No, I bet if I filter this out, it'd be like 80. So in reality, if you hold on to those players, every player in this builder promo, you will lose coins. The 97s Ultimate Legends are going for 300k. The other ones are going for 600 for the team builder MVPs. So like, I'm just letting you know, if you're gonna hold on, sell now, wait for a blitz or some packs, buy then. And then sell again. But right now, if you wait, you will lose money. Because right now, they're all going for like 40% increase on what they should be going for. You sell them now. You wait for the 40% drop. And then you either buy them back or you wait for an even bigger drop. You buy them and then you resell when they readjust. I'll keep you guys updated on that on Twitter. So go follow me on Twitter too if you haven't. I'll keep you guys updated on there and on YouTube. So if you want to keep up on what's going to be going on with this whole promo. Want to make coins like I usually do. Drop the sub below. And also don't forget to Twitter. Because Twitter is where I'll keep you most updated on a hourly basis in comparison to a daily basis so yeah the team build that's enough of the team builders for the most part i'm telling you these are not these are not the move when it comes to trying to get coins and training i mean they're good for they're good if you're trying to do the sets so i guess I mean, i'll finish it real quick 94 is 210 you want these for about 195 200 no more they're, they're overpriced they really are i guess it's the scouts the scouts are the only thing holding these cards up they're not worth it so if you're an investor, you buy these, you sell, you buy, you sell, but you, or you sell now, you don't, you don't hold on to these at all. You don't keep these as cards in your team. Like eight, 95 is 280. That's crazy. At this point you want to, wow, you're going to want to get these for like 240, 250, not 280. That's it for the team builders. Wow. Let me show you guys something real quick. So I actually just, just, you know, just capping this off. I actually put. Secure Tackler on Khalil Mack and Aaron Donald. So they're both chemmed up. Um, almost done with Shazier. He's 99. Getting there. I think that's mainly chem though. I'm going to try to power up my wear and my Champ Bailey. And I'm going to try to finish this um, this House Rules event on stream today with a sub. So pop through to the stream. Come show some support. And drop the follow, man, if you can on the stream. Because we are currently seven, I believe, seven followers away from affiliate status. So, you know, if you have a hundred of you guys that are going to view this, if just seven of you could drop the follow, it would mean a lot. You guys might not think that one helps, but like, if you guys all drop the follow, I'd have a hundred set. I'd have 140 followers almost. So like, it helps a lot. So once I hit affiliate status, like, like I said yesterday in yesterday's video, I will have a lot more options. I could open the dono box. You guys could show some more support that way. Like I could open up a lot of stuff for my stream. I could have more emo emotes. I can give you guys custom emotes, custom subscriber options, a lot of cool stuff that I can't do yet. And we just started this week, so that's impressive that we're even that far. But yeah, if you guys could come out to the stream today, I'll be streaming directly after this video. It's probably like 12 Eastern time, 12 a.m., 12.
12 p.m. Eastern time uh, to about 5 p.m. Eastern time. So just come through to the stream, drop a follow, show some support. We were actually on the top page last time I streamed. I was there next to Gut Fox, which was pretty cool. It went Gut Fox and then me. I was right there. I was on the top page. I had over 450 viewers throughout the session of the day that I was streaming. It was really cool. And only our second day streaming. So come show some support, drop the follow, help us reach affiliate status. I actually just edit, I just turned on follow. I put on follower music, subscriber music, donation music. I put a lot of stuff on, but I can't even use it yet until you guys make me an affiliate. So please help me with that. And um, like I said, if you could drop the sub, it'd mean a lot. It really would. We're we're really grinding right now. We're gonna. I'm hoping to hit a thousand by July. But if you guys support like you did yesterday, we will hit a thousand by the end of like April, and it would mean a whole bunch to me. It really would. And um, just keeping you updated on this. To anyone who's finished the Must Master stats, I, I applaud you for having a thousand two hundred tackles with Shazier because for some reason. I have not done that yet. I've done everything else, really, but I just, for some reason, I don't have tackles. It's because I use them, I guess. Let me open up our daily end of the video gold pack. So you can put some heat right now before we leave. On The on-stream heat is real, by the way. So if you guys want to see good packs, the uh, streamer luck is a real thing. No joke. I pulled DeAndre Hopkins in a 95 Calvin. I threw DeAndre was a quick sell, so I went for 330. So, like, video luck's okay. Streamer luck, it's a real thing. So I'll see if I can finish the house rules on stream today, and then maybe I'll play some other games or some subs online, um, you know, on stream. So we'll see how that goes. All right, these packs suck. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and like I said, drop the follow on Twitch. Please sub on YouTube, and it's about it. I hope you guys have been enjoying these market tips. I hope they're helping. If you guys have any suggestions for the market or anything, drop it down below. If you guys have any questions? DM me on Twitter. They're always open. Just hit me up on Twitter. If you guys have any questions about my team regarding anything you want to see, any video requests, any new series you guys want to see, drop it down below. And uh, if you guys have been doing any of the team builder sets, like the, you've been doing the 80 plus random team builder, um, the one that you buy, and I'm talking about the 1,000 one. If you guys have done any of those, can you drop down below what you guys have pulled? Because I tried that and I haven't pulled anything, but I see a lot of people pulling MVPs. Tell me down below if you got anything good out of that. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. I'm out.